The final images of 2018 saw Lake Oswego and Union win the top crowns in Oregon and Washington. The two teams looking to defend their state titles in 2019. But they've got a whole lot of challengers. What's good, everyone? I'm Orlando Sanchez, and this is Friday Night Flights. We start down at the black hole. West Salem Titans coming out strong. Jackson Lowry fires a quick pass to Jack Bennett. Down the sideline, 55 yards. That's worth six points. West Salem on the board first. But this was the Casey Filkins show. Dude was feasting on broken tackles. Whoop! <laughs> and Lake O breaks it open in the second half. 42 to 21, the final. Chasing Lake Oswego is second ranked Jesuit. The Crusaders hosting Mountainside to kick off Metro League play. Crusaders driving Jack Hayden, hooking up with Seth Walsh, and oh no he didn't! And no one's catching him. 56 yards and six points. Jesuit holds off Mountainside 28 to three. And get your popcorn ready because Jesuit Lake Oswego, that's next Friday night. Sky 8 over Beaverton. Westview hosting David Douglas first quarter. Braden Libby hits London Smalley, slips through the defense. I don't know how he did that. And the blocking makes it happen. 65 yards to the house. Westview outlasts David Douglas 44-32. Let's roll down to Southridge. The Skyhawks hosting Jefferson. We pick things up in the second half. Democrats putting in work. Demir Collins, that's just a nasty cutback for the TD. He also gets the two-point conversion. Watch out, y'all. Jefferson gets a nice win on the road, 28 to 22. The most anticipated matchup of the week down in West Lynn. The number five ranked Lions hosting third ranked Central Catholic. Let's go straight to the fourth quarter. Gavin Haynes. Punching it in from short, West Lynn on top, 27-21. But the Rams respond, and this is straight up nasty. Cade Knighton, Silas Star to the top flow. Rams up by one, and those two at it again. Knighton, Star, deliver the dagger. That put this one away. Central Catholic gets the W, 35-27. Tiger. Kicking off the season at sunset, the Apollos taking over the field pregame. What's going on, man? But the Tigers are the ones setting the tone. And there goes that man, Josh Burns. Dude has vision, and he's got his eyes on the end zone. But Connor Burns cannot be stopped. Welcome to the show, young fella. But just too much firepower from Tiger. Drew Carter, you are up, my man and he finds Max Lenzi. He's doing the rest. Tiger opens the season 1-0, final count 45-22. Another top 10 matchup kicking off three Rivers League play. 10th ranked Lake Ridge visiting 6th ranked Tualatin. And this was all Tualatin from the opening drive. Kainoa Sayre. This just ain't fair, ooh! 75 yards to the house. Still in the first quarter, and it's Cole Prussia. And he can run, but he can also throw, and this is a dime to Cade McCarty. 53 to seven is your final. Tualatin making a statement in week one. The 4A ranks giving us a potential championship matchup in week one. Second ranked Gladstone visiting number one and defending champion Banks. Sky 8 providing the views in the fourth quarter. Banks up by two scores. Gladstone trying to cut the lead, but Tristan Rogers, he's having none of that. Pick six to seal the deal. Banks outlasts Gladstone. Final count, 21 to six. Your votes have been heard. Nearly 15,000 of you told us we had to be there for Prairie and Park Rose. This is your game of the week. A battle between Washington and Oregon, Falcons and Broncos. 
And this was a packed house to kick off the season. But Prairie wasn't messing around. Dustin Shelby to the outside, and it's over. Falcons jump out to a 12-0 lead just like that. Next possession, this time through the air. A.J. Dixon, no hesitation, and right on the money. Jimmy Barton to the house. I mean, everybody feeling good. My ears still ringing from that. Second quarter, Broncos get it going on defense. Trey Singleton all over it, recovers the fumble. And Park Rose cashes in. J.J. Hudson cruises into the crib. But Prairie answers in a huge way. Off of the ensuing kickoff, that's Zeke Dixon. Remember the name, because he gone. 52-33, Prairie gets the win. Franklin playing host to Cleveland. Ben and the Lightning all smiles. On the field, it was a steady dose of ground and pound for the Warriors. Finney and James Berry moving the chains, and that set up Skyler Daniel. That's a touchdown. Cleveland defeats Franklin 31-14. to Up in Washington, the Union Titans looking to reload after taking home Washington's state title. They opened up at home against the team that made its own deep run in the playoffs, Mountain View. The Titans ready to go against the Thunder and the fans. Give me a shout out to our very own Matt Zafito there. <laughs> nice work, man. <laughs> Took the Titans a while to get going. Isaiah Jones, just too strong there. Union opens the season with a 20 to 10 win over Mountain View. Evergreen hosting Heritage. This was just a wild one. Anthony Key busting tackles and sprinting to the end zone. Timberwolves jumped out to a 21 nothing lead. Evergreen wouldn't give up though. Carter Monda hooks up with Zyel Griffin for the score. The Plainsmen tied it up, but Heritage came up big in the end. Heritage wins 35-28. Out in Hillsboro, Liberty hosting Sprague. Sky 8 gets the assist here. First quarter, and this is how you start a season. Wiley Roberts up the middle by 70 yards on the first drive. But this game would be all Liberty after that. Falcons get a blowout win, 49-14. Final stop, Barlow High School showing off its brand new football stadium. They took on Ben, and the Bruins opened up the new digs in style. Jaron Hunter, Drake Payne, making a little history. Barlow wins in blowout fashion, 34-8.